Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we will be working on these two very interesting problems. And let's start working on this problem. In this one, we are asked to simplify this product of these logarithmic problems. This has a base as well. Let me rewrite once again. This is the first parenthesis. I can write log of A with the base B. This is the first one. And then I can write this one, the second one, log of b with the base c, and then times log of c with the base a. And now we're going to apply this change of base rule to this given problem. It says that log of y with the base x can be written as a fraction log of y divided by log of x. Let me just write down these one. The first one in parentheses it could be written as log of a divided by log of b and then times the second one. This one could be written as log of b divided by log of c. And finally, this third parenthesis could be written as log of C divided by log of A. Now you can see this log of A cancels out with log of A. Log of B is reduces with the log of B and log of C is gone with log of C since everything is gone so that means our answer turned out to be simply one so this problem has an answer equal to one and in this next problem we will be evaluating this logarithmic problem without using a calculator so the very first thing i want you to just look at this thing this logarithmic part log of 64 with the base 4 and log of 2 with the base 4. I wa we want to use a, this kind of strategy. I want to convert into a, this kind of form. I'm going to write somehow. I'm going to transform that. I'm going to write down log of 4 with the base 4. This is what my kind of strategy is to, to convert them into. So let's start it with, uh, get started with the first one over here, look at this log of 64 with the base 4. I can write it somewhere here. I can write over here log of 64 with the base 4. I just wrote it down over here. And now you can see this 64 could be written as log of 4 power 3 with the base 4. So 64 is same as this one. And now we will be using this power rule. See right now we are log of m and if you have an exponent n then it just moves in the front like you'd see this thing. In this case we have a exponent 3. I want you to move it to the front. So that could be written as simply, this could be written as 3 log of 4 with the base 4. That means I can write down this one over here. I can write 1 over 2 outside and this thing over here could be written as 3 log of 4 with the base 4. So far so good. And then whatever this negative 2, just leave it there over here. Plus I am going to write down now this part. Now let's focus on this one. Log of 4 with the base 2. I am going to write down somewhere here. So log of 2 with the base 4. Let's simplify this one over here. Look at this thing. Isn't it this? 2 could be written as, I can write log of square root of 4. 2 could be written as, and then once again our base is 4, isn't it? So now over here, once again, this 
over here this uh, square root could be written as log of 4 power 1 over 2 with the base 4. Once again we got the exponent is 1 over 2 and we're going to be using this same power rule over here. So this exponent moves to the front so I can write this one as 1 over 2 times log of 4 with the base 4. So we got this simply simplified this thing. So let me just go ahead and write down 3 times this whole thing is simply become simply 1 over 2 and then times log of 4 with the base 4. So far so good. And finally we're going to be using this well known fact. If you have a log of x with a base x, one x is like argument, the other one is base, it's always equal to 1. So you can see over here this one, the part that I'm going to circle this one and this one, they could be written as simply 1. So this turns out to be 1 and this is 1. Let's simplify, okay. So we got 1 over 2 times 3 times 1 simply minus 2 plus 3 outside this bracket 1 over 2 times 1. So far so good. Let's simplify now. So this become 1 over 2 times 3 minus 2 plus 3 times 1 over 2. Let's simplify furthermore. This simply become 3 over 2 minus 2 plus 3 over 2. I can write this 2 as a 2 over 1. So if you simplify this thing, I can write 3 over 2. Since the common denominator is going to be a 2, I can write this 2 as a minus 4 over 2 and plus 3 over 2. Since we have the same denominator, I can write it just simply once. So you write 3 minus 4 plus 3 is going to give us simply 6 minus 4 is 2 divided by 2 equals to 1 and that is our answer. So thus our answer turns out to be this whole logarithmic part equals to 1 and that is our answer. And finally, here is your assignment. It's, this time, this is a really interesting problem. You have to prove that this left-hand side equals to right-hand side. Can you brainstorm and see, can you do it? Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.